out of here, definitely. Wow, Briarstone. Good grief, that's a huge raid. Hello, what were you playing? I, I'm selling coos. Otherwise known as cows. I just basically need to breed 30 cows. I need to just make sure, because I've only got um, space for about six at the moment. I've got two, four... No, I don't even have that. So we have them to sell a couple from each pen. Seems to breed about two at a time at the moment. And probably sell two out of this pen as well. That way we're trying to keep as many cows as we can so we've got as much milk as possible coming in. Um, and at the same time, trying to breed up our 30 cows for our objective. Now also, we've got... Um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, also we've got a massive bank loan. So we've got this uh, this bank loan here, debt repayment. So we're going to be paying back, I believe, about $15,000 a month for the next three years. So we're about, um, if I take off the paid ones, you can just see this pending one. We've paid back 60000 out of 540000 dollars or farm bucks it's an f so it's definitely farm bucks i think jessica rabbit you like to get back to streaming and youtube but your anxiety is so bad all of the time yeah it's i wouldn't say that youtubing or streaming are very good for anxiety at all because you've always got to deal with people's comments and things like that so let's go and find caddy fletcher and you've got to kind of prep yourself up for um, being in front of people and saying all sorts of stupid things like I always do. Aha, I see her. I see her right there. The love a package. She's making honey. One thing I could do. One thing I want to do is build some more um, honey making places. And they're not very big. So maybe we should do that for just a second. Oh, I still need to plant something there, don't I? Oh, you know what? I planted the rye without fertilizing it. No! We won't make that mistake with the wheat field, though. We will fertilize the wheat field with manure from the cows. Uh, no, we're not doing that by hand. Don't be silly. That would take forever, even with the amount of seasonal workers I have. Oh, not stupid cute. Avac is auto hosting me for 37 viewers. Woohoo! See, the thing is, I've had like a massive raid and 37 viewers auto host. It still only shows me as having like 20 viewers on my on my slobs thing. I don't know if it's behind or something. Uh, by the way, anybody that's just joined into the stream, uh, Farm Manager 2018 was off the Steam store for a little while, but it is now back on. So, if you're wanting to pick it up, now's the time. Okay, so the soil moistures are all really bad, so I think we might need to do a little bit of watering. I actually really like the watering in this, it's pretty cool. You get your tractor. And a sprinkler. I think we'll use sprinklers for these two. And that one's going to need a sprinkler as well. I don't know how, how the rest are doing. Oh, the strawberry fields and the raspberry fields are actually doing okay. Well, not that one, apparently. And the grass field is doing badly as well. So we've got another tractor that's got a, a trailer on it that can uh, water this one. Hmm. Guessing that that tractor's busy right now. Oh yeah, that one's uh, fertilising the field. That's fine. So we've uh, harvested 2,281 strawberries. It might sell for a decent amount. Let's have another look. So why do I only have 1,500? I must have already sold some of them. That's 10,000 worth just under of strawberries there. 
I imagine we're making a killing in milk. Actually, let's have a look at how much we sold in milk over the last recent amount of time. Uh, report. So in the last year, no, in the last month, we've sold 17,000 worth of strawberries, 59,000 worth of raspberries and 8,500 worth of pumpkins. We have sold 37,000 cow's milk. And I imagine that that's only going to go up as we have more cows. Like, I will eventually just keep the cow pens full. We've also made 10,000s worth of just selling cows. And 7,000 off my wind farms in total. That's not too bad, 7,000 a month just off my just off the turbines being here. I did spend a lot of money on them, but over time that's going to really pay off. They apparently pay themselves back on average in about two years. Really need to water this. I'm getting a bit antsy now. Is there a tractor free? Still not, no. I've still got this orchard tractor. I don't even have orchards anymore because I don't have room for them. I had to like destroy them to put the cow pens down. We've got more strawberries coming in. We're drowning in strawberries. We're a massive, like, I started this place off as a bit of a market garden over here, and uh, now we've got some bigger concerns as well. Right, so this is going to be wheat. We're almost into summer before I'm even sowing this wheat. Hopefully, there's enough time. They should carry on growing all the way into the autumn, though. Grass will be growing in 28 days. The corn will be 65. Hopefully the wheat won't be too long. Apparently I have to wait for the tractor to go all the way back across the other side. It does actually take a while for some of the tractors to go all the way back to where they need to be. Probably because I've got it on slow as well. Okay, so now that sprinkler is out of uh, use, I can go back to the machines. I can go back to the machines. There we are, trailer with water. So they're actually going to just go and... Oh, it's raining now. That's all I need. It shows 43 viewers on your PC, Jessica. Do you know what? Sometimes, though, I think it's just better not to look, isn't it? Just do your thing. Although I did feel a bit lonely at the start of the stream because no one was talking to me for about the first five minutes. I was like, no, where's everybody? Just someone talk to me. But then people started showing up and it was fine. So, like, if you're first, if you're ever first to someone's stream, please, please talk to them in the chat. Otherwise, it's so lonely. Right. Wheat. Let's sow this wheat. And then the tractors need a rest. They, need, they so need a rest. Okay, so... Soil moisture is good on this. It's good on that. It's good on that. It's good on that. No, it's not good on the grass. Never mind. Everything is sprayed. We have lost a little bit of crop quality, but nowhere near as badly as we did last year. Last year was really, really terrible because we had like every, everything under the sun happen to the crops. So that's what I'm trying to avoid this year by literally spraying it against everything. So that one just needs weed spraying. This one will need insect spraying. And then these need spraying for everything as well. So as much as I'm saying the tractors need a rest, <laughs> we've got a lot of spraying still to do. We do have two weed sprayers, which has helped a lot this season. I don't think I'd have been able to spray everything without it. Jessica, I suppose I, I did kind of spend a little bit of time going, is anybody there? Is anybody there? And then I started talking. Then I realized that um, there was no volume because basically the um, 
audio input into slobs had all mucked up so then I had to spend a bit of time getting the audio right but once I'd managed to do that we, we were good we were good to go I'm still because I'm still pretty new to streaming it's only been a couple of months really that I've been um, properly streaming for now at, on any kind of regular basis so sometimes it's gonna just take me a, a little bit to just remember to do everything to set the stream up to start with but you know that's all part of being an amateur well not an amateur I suppose I do this for a living but being new to something in that way. More animal insemination. <laughs> okay, so everything is planted now, which is great. It only took us the whole of spring, even with tractors. But this farm is pretty huge now. Okay, so I was saying there's some watering still needing to be done here. I'm going to use that trailer as much as possible. I do need to definitely look at fixing up some of my machines. That's going to probably be a real task for the autumn and winter now. It's going to be properly looking at my tractors, getting them all as, as up to speed as possible. We'll start using the combine a little bit more in the autumn time. We don't use it very much. It spends most of its time parked. But yeah, um, if nobody, if no one is there, I do just chat anyway. And I think doing YouTube helps with that because when you do YouTube, you don't expect anyone to be there. They just come along after the fact. But I kind of don't like to start until people have had a chance at least to, to catch the beginning. So I wouldn't mind just like chatting away and, and starting. But I kind of feel like, well, if people are trying to catch the beginning, then I should at least give them five minutes to, to try and make it in. Um, Call the inseminator. Don't want to wait for him too long. Okay, so it's all raining again now, which is amazing because it means that we don't need to water. All the stuff that we were watering. We need to mow the lawn. That tractor is getting absolutely wrecked. So I'm going to actually send a different tractor out. So the Etos tractor needs to have a little bit of... A little bit of love. A little bit of renovation happening. So I'll just let it do that. Everything's growing. I mean, if anything does get a disease or something, I will I'll try and get it sprayed. Anti-insect, I would say. Okay, we're doing really well with the cow breeding now. We have done 18 out of 30. I, even if it takes a whole stream to breed all these cows, that's what I will do. But we are so much better off for money now as well. I, it actually doesn't seem like it would be beyond reason to uh, expect that I can get the, the 400,000 upgrade pretty soon. Maybe next stream. Hello, Namiok. How are you? Doing well, I hope. Let's see how this tractor's doing. Still renovating, still healing. I'll try and make do on two as much as possible, but I don't really want to spend the money on extra tractors. I will have to eventually. But I won't spend the money on upgrading my house. Oh no, weeds on my fields. No, it's on the buckwheat field. That's the one thing that I haven't sprayed it for. Quick before it does too much damage. The thing that's nice about the amount of um, spraying I've done ahead of time is that it's not 
there's no chance of anything popping up on here while I'm dealing with things over here. So I just have to keep an eye on these four fields at the moment and make sure nothing pops up on those and keep everything watered. Ah, seven chicken eggs for 6,000. Yes, please. That's a nice side quest, isn't it? Looks like the water's all good. I just magically got 6,000 for basically doing nothing. But my animals are sick. No! Poor little coo. <laughs> I think my keyboard's having a little meltdown there. I'm having to use WASD. Okay, this needs bailing, so... Come on, needs to do that. So that got sprayed in time to not affect the crop quality too badly. I'd like to get the grass sprayed. The rest of it, I, I don't mind too much if it's a bit reactionary. Reaction me? I don't even know if that's a word. So if it's a bit reactive. Seems like the rye and stuff hasn't really lost too much quality from not having the, the soil fertilised, which is really good. Oh, and that, everyone that's come into this stream so far has been like, oh, checking out House Flipper. I'm really glad you guys are enjoying it because I enjoy playing it so much. It's a shame there aren't more games out like that, to be honest. I love doing up houses. I just wish it had a few more assets to it because you do start to think, oh, I wish I could just put this in and put that in. But people keep, someone said to me, apparently there's a game called Viscera Cleanup Detail, where you basically just like do cleaning, loads and loads of cleaning. And I, I was kind of wondering whether that's the sort of thing that people would actually like to watch. Or whether it's just the sort of thing I would like to play. <laughs> it's strangely satisfying to watch me clean. Yeah, so maybe, maybe I might pick up Viscera Cleanup Detail and do like a little stream on it. And you guys can just sit and watch me clean for a couple of hours. That would be a fun stream, I think. But I do have to do the um I have to do the sim stream soon. You guys have been voting on it. I think the votes overall mostly are going for a new start. Even people who have who have voted for one or the other have been saying, well, something new would be good as well. So I'm kind of thinking possibly picking up maybe like something like the toddler expansion and playing with a family. Like a pre pre-built family and just doing streams on sims from now on because i don't feel that um I, I don't feel that if um the numbers are a bit low if i've done a stream on something i'm just putting up stream footage i don't mind if i get low numbers on it compared to like if i'm putting up something that i've like specially handcrafted to put onto the channel sort of thing so yeah no hopefully you get that um right i'm gonna start spraying this grass with the antifungal stuff now. It's raining. Rain is good. Rain is very good. Money is coming in well. Gonna have another load of harvests very, very shortly, actually. Oh, right now! That's crazy. I checked that just as it was getting ready. I don't want tractor drivers doing harvests. Tractor drivers get to just drive around in their tractors. I do. I definitely by next year, over the winter, I think one of my little projects to do over the winter will definitely be to um, get these more beekeeping houses built with another 10 hives each. So I want eventually to have 50 hives. Deadline exceeded. I didn't even want to do your stupid side quest. They're never worth the money. They're never worth the effort for the money, sorry. 
Isabel MacDonald would like to go through endurance training. That's great. Where is she? Uh, I'm looking for someone who is blue. Isabel MacDonald. What does Isabel MacDonald do? Why don't we find Isabel MacDonald and find out what her job is? Because that will help me find her. That's my beekeepers. She is a tractor driver. Oh, she's in she's in the house. Okay. I need to go tell her to do something in the tractor. Um, how about you go and weed spray? Let's use Isabel instead. So that should make her come out of the house in time to do her endurance training. You have to like lure them out of the house so you can't click on them. Which is ridiculous. There we are. Endurance training. Awesome. Free training is... I'm never going to turn that down. It took me ages to work out as well because people in my YouTube comments actually had to tell me that I have to actually find them and click on them and then I get a free training point. I just thought they were just doing it on their own. <sighs> What's been sprayed against what now? Isabella's anti-weeding rat, and then we'll need anti-insect. I'm wondering if I'll get away with it on the corn. Still got 100% crop quality, I think I might get away with that. The wheat's got 83 days and the rye's got 73 days. So those might need the... I would say that those would be a higher priority. And obviously the grass, which is perennial. Oh no, more stuff to harvest. I don't even think I have people to do it. No, I don't. So many harvests. Might actually pick up some more seasonal workers and get one more at least. And they can go and just harvest these strawberries. Rosie Holmes, off you go. Go harvest that greenhouse on your own. Solitary labour task. You'd be, you're being punished. I don't know what for. Everybody else gets to have a party in the field. You have to be in the greenhouse. Let's speed this up a bit so they get through those strawberries a bit quicker. Soil moisture's fine. And the grass sprayed against. Oh no. Okay, let's insecticide this then. Basically, a case of just reacting as quickly as it, getting as many fields done preemptively as I can, and then reacting to anything else that pops up in the meantime. Bubbles, there was no crazy party in chat. The crazy party was in the strawberry field. Don't pay attention. Grass needs mowing as well. Molly Oliver with the Etos tractor. I abuse my tractors so much. So now that tractor's back, can we renovate it? Yes. I'm gonna just risk um, renovating both of them at once. At the moment, we're, we're kind of all good. 
good for soil moisture on everything. We're good for um, spraying pretty much. I could have actually had my tractor drivers helping with the harvest because... Uh, Yeah, because they've got nothing to do. Their tractors are being repaired. I maybe do need more field hands. Yeah, the birds, which are destroying my field. Get off my field. Get off my land. Stupid birds. Need to put scarecrows down here, don't I? Done. Insect on my fields. Which one? Just quickly checking, but no, I don't think there are. Okay, I think they finished without a raspberry field now. You know what, why don't you all do that? Yeah, that sounds good. There we are, we just get someone to rake up all the grass and we're good. Um, we're still holding our own pretty much with the silage. That's okay, isn't it? Might need even to put another silage bin in so we can have someone else working on it. I don't know how much... The grass, they'll catch up on it in the winter if nothing else. 2,000 grass. 300 grass in there. 180 silage. Yeah, I think they're doing okay at the moment. If I see lots and lots of grass that's not getting dealt with, then I'll I'll try and uh, build another one of those little grass, silo, grass silage production facilities. 400k, Naniog, is what I need to upgrade my farmhouse. And then I'll probably need more to upgrade my land. So, yeah. So, 1,500 raspberries harvested. Let's see how much these sell for now. We've got 3,000 strawberries and 3,000 raspberries. So, the strawberries will sell for 28,000. I won't say no to that. And the raspberry sell for 36,000, although they're coming down in price. A lot of honey as well that I have not sold at all. So 12,000, 20,000, 10,000. A bunch of milk as well. Another 10,000. 312,000. Lovely. Weeds on my field. Go spray them, please. Yeah, I was saying, oh yeah, I might get away with either the rye fields. No. The only, the only thing that's really bad is when you don't have enough tractors to do spraying and you've you've the tractor's doing something else and then like three different fields get things on them and you've got to leave them. When it's just like one field that's got something on it and you've got a spare tractor, it's not really too much of a problem. So basically at the moment, the loan that I've got is being kind of about halfway paid off just by the wind turbines alone. So far I've had um, 900 energy this month. I'll have a quick look at my report for, for last month. We made um, 8,200 profit just off the wind farms. I need 15,000 to pay off my loans each month at the moment. We're making a lot. We made 36,000 from milk alone. So we're making about 30,000 profit a month just off the milk and the wind farm. And that's even after I've paid off my loan. Forest maintenance in age 20. What on earth was I, was I doing with forest maintenance? I must have chopped down a tree or something. 
Not that there's any trees left in my land. They're making lots and lots of money from honey. Expenses. Employee salaries, 13,000 a month at the moment. 500 to the vet and 1,800 to the inseminator. At least we don't have building upkeep yet. They haven't decided to put that in yet. So in another 13 days, we'll have another couple of massive harvests. 31 days and 41 days. All right, so they're spreading out a little bit more, which is pretty good. So if we can make another 70,000 or so, then we'll have enough to do the house upgrade, which is what I'm really pretty much waiting for right now. Much of honey to sell as well again. Oh, three hundred and nineteen thousand. Got a lot of rye flour as well. Oh, not that much actually. Just a little bit. It's just gonna turn up the volume a bit. May as well spray this against fun is it fungus I haven't done? I can't remember actually. Yeah, it is. Fungus. That's anti fungus that. And then we can maybe do a bit of work on the wheat field, because that's got another sixty four days. I'm hoping the corn won't catch anything for the next twenty days. And it's raining again. Yay. I'm starting to become a proper farmer now and saying yay at rain. Rain is so good. Yes, animals ready for breeding. So we're on 20 cows. We've got 10 more to breed and we are done with this scenario. Well, not this scenario, this bit of the scenario. It's going to be amazing. Oh no, there's weeds on that field. How dare they be on that field? Tractors are getting so broken. I'm making a lot of money now though, so I don't think replacing them should be too much of an issue anymore. And the cows are really keeping things afloat. Cow's milk's gone down in value a bit. So we are now at 300 and... Oh, the wages just went out. No! Got more honey though. Okay, so we're 90,000. I already sprayed that one. What are you on about? Oh. I was asking for that, wasn't I? Uh, Etos tractor is taking a real pounding at the moment. It's starting to knock the crop quality a little bit. Soil moisture on the corn seems to be as well. I'll see if I can give that a quick water. Just get a sprinkler on it for a minute. I just really like the look of this farm. I don't know about anybody else. Like you can, you can see there needs to be just a couple more uh, bee houses just along there. And we've got the the fields that maintain. You know, it's like a little garden behind the bee houses and the big fields and then the market garden fields that's all that's all pretty good isn't it pick up all that grass I need to rake that grass as well 
We need to keep on top of that because otherwise we won't have enough to feed the cows. Ooh, 80,000. Oh, I didn't click OK for the insect spraying. Yes, that would be why. I was wondering why they tried to use the same tractor for two things. Thanks, guys. See if any oh we've got the strawberry field harvest ready that'll be done by hand okay i don't know why there's only four people available to do that oh i know why there are because all of my seasonal workers have uh, decided to run away okay well i'll get the people that are available to do the strawberry field and when this next raspberry field comes alive i'll well it's august already let me just hire another three. We're going to need them eventually. So, Esme, Ryan, Ira, I think, Brooke, and Theodore. And we'll see how we do with those. So all my new guys can go and just for start off by harvesting the greenhouse while their friends are doing the strawberry fields. The raspberry fields should be ready. They'll be ready quite close to each other, but I'll split them in half and get them to do half each, I think. How's the corn going? Seven days left. Okay. I don't know how we harvest it. I might need a new attachment for it. I'm not really sure. Um, but I won't be able to sort it out until it's time to harvest it. So I'm not going to worry about it. Um, Jezza, at the moment I have milk and eggs on auto trade. But I just sometimes like want to see the money go up quicker and get impatient and click on the sell button. I will wait for all the strawberries to be harvested because we had greenhouse strawberries plus field strawberries all being harvested at the same time. I don't know how far through they are. I don't know if that's the progress bar. Okay, so I want someone to bail this then. I'm actually going to change it to the, one of the Rager tractors. Um, I'm going to give the the ETOS tractor I think is being used too much and it really needs renovation like all the time. Be right back. I'm going to just open my window a little crack because it's getting very hot in here and computers do not like heat. Right, it's time to bale that grass up. Did I do that right? I don't think I did that right. I suck at this game. Not even hard and I suck at it. All I have to do is click accept. Okay, so it looks like... You can kind of see the ones that look a bit more yellowish. That are the ones that still have the strawberries on. You can see these guys all. Let's see if I can click on one and follow him around. No, he's going back. They're too fast. Right, Rosie, let's follow you around. This will be crazy. Look how fast she walks. Oh my goodness. Oh, she just got run over by a tractor. Oh no. Oh, look at the coos. Okay, it, it, it doesn't like us going in buildings following them around. 
it's still quite funny. I like looking at the farm from this sort of perspective. It just it looks way more impressive. Doesn't it look so impressive? We've got all our corn over here. So I, I play it from such a like top-down management style that I don't often take a chance to just drive around the farm and look at how pretty it is and how big the wind turbines are. It's quite nice, isn't it? My strawberry fields and there's my raspberry bushes. So nice. Okay. Something's ready. Is it corn? My corn is ready. Right, so we're going to see how this works with the harvesting. It's a Xena combine and a box trailer, but there's something else is needed. What is it then? So the combine probably needs some kind of... No machines were found that meet the requirements. I'm not sure then. But we've got 10 days so I can harvest this by hand. Everyone in the world, just go and harvest that by hand. I don't know what corn needs. Three thousand strawberries harvested. Well, uh, if I don't mind if I do. But at this point, they're just like they're pocket money. They're extra. A little bit of honey still to go as well. We aren't far off our 4,000. The corn is a little bit more difficult then, so it's definitely a combine harvester needed. It needs a corn header. Right, right, right. Okay. I'll do it by hand this year and I'll try and buy a corn header for next year because I'm trying to save my money up at the moment and I've only got one corn field. And these, they've got nothing to do right now anyway, all of those um, seasonal workers, so may as well have them doing something useful. Hey, this needs a bit of a water, I think, if we've got someone to do it. Water trailer seems to be a bit quicker, so I, I tend to use that if I can. It's a very large machine, though, so the sprinklers are there just if I if I need to do some extra watering on top of what I do with the box trailer. Oh, sorry, the watering trailer. Raspberries. They're okay. They're okay-ish. They're okay. These are fine. Grass looks all right. I'm just looking, checking the moisture levels basically at the moment, just to make sure nothing desperately needs to be watered. I would say the wheat probably needs a bit of a water, so I'll just get that done. No, that's fine. I'll get that done in a minute. They're all still just they're harvesting the corn. I just got every all hands on deck sort of thing for that, um, just so it would be done in a couple of days. How's the Etos tractor looking now? It's starting to be okay. I'm going to renovate it again. And the Rega tractor too. Rega tractor one looks like it's doing okay. Um, so we can mill all the corn into like a corn flour sort of thing. This is what I wanted, so I'm quite happy for all of the corn to be used. Oh, bye bye waterproof bubbles. I hope you have a good night. Let's 
So, can I bale that or anything now? No, it doesn't look like I can. It's just harvest the corn. There it goes. So, we've got all the stuff we need for harvesting the wheat and harvesting the rye. It looks like they need a bit of a water again. I'll use the trailer, but then I'll also get another... If I can, I don't know, because the tractors are... Oh, we could actually use the orchard tractor for just watering. So let's do that then. We barely ever use the orchard tractor anymore anyway. It's good to spread the workload out amongst different tractors. Certain crops to make chaff. I still don't know what that tractor does. It just told me told me to get it and then I, I really haven't used it for too much yet is our rye getting watered with the sprinkler I love the sprinklers in this it's just a shame that it kind of does use up a tractor until the sprinkler is done you can't use the can't use the tractor. The tractor has to sit and wait for the sprinkler to be finished so you can pick it back up again. I'm just loving the look of this at this point. Although one thing I haven't been doing, which I should have done, is um, selling all these cows off. No wonder we're not getting any further with our quest. Because I kind of gave myself a new quest. I was like, well, I'll just I'll just have my own quest. And my own quest will be to upgrade the house. Probably should have been working more on my, my cows. Oh, you know what? We are nearly there, though. We are so nearly there. If we've got a little bit of honey we can sell, then I bet we will have enough to upgrade this house. There we are, 400,000. We've been doing so well ever since we um, took the bank loan, to be honest. I think just taking the bank loan under the right circumstances was the right thing to do. So, building upgrade. Upgrade. Woohoo. I hope that was not a big mistake. I'm hoping that it'll, if it wants me to upgrade it, that it will recognise that it's already been done. Okay, so it's getting built. Because we can't even find out how much the land upgrade is until... I think spending the remainder of the bank loan on wind turbines is actually a really good plan. I think that was pretty solid. Okay, we have upgraded. All right, so if you use the forage harvester on corn, it turns it into chaff, which is food for animals and can be turned into silage. Right, okay. So you get a choice as to whether you use the combine or, hmm, good to know. So there's our upgraded farmhouse. Again, I've never been 100% happy with the position of the house in this game, but never mind. Um, I almost wish it could be pushed back just a tiny bit into that corner. But it's cool. It's fine. So let's have a look at what the land upgrade is going to cost. Bartleby just subscribed. Thank you very much. I didn't even realise you were here, Bartleby. I knew you were like hosting me, but I didn't realise you were around. Hi, Death Stardew Valley. <laughs> yes, that's totally what it is. I'll get married in this though, I don't think. So let's have a look at buying land. So 40,000. That's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. And each one of these squares is my farm all over again. So we're going to be able to get into the really massive 
um, fields and things. I can put some huge orchards down and stuff like that. So I'm going to be pretty happy with that. Like get some 50 by 50s going. Yeah. But I don't have enough money right now. So we just have to to wait until we've got 40,000. But that's better than waiting for 400,000. So now we can actually properly like expand everything. Some of my seasonal workers in there harvesting the greenhouses. Oh, and it looks like we need to get some of the seasonal workers in here. Okay, so I'm going to have... You guys doing that. And then the rest of you doing that one. Yeah, let's see if I can sell anything. Uh, definitely sell. We have, seem to have a lot of cow's milk that hasn't been sold yet. Hmm. What's going on with that? I'm just going to come in and out of the market because that's. I think my milk might have auto sold while I was looking at it. Yeah, it did. That was why I was getting very confused. Right, I'll quickly sell these strawberries off. Um, and, but I'll wait on the raspberries until everything has been harvested properly. We've only got five days left on the next bunch of strawberries. Good grief. It looks like the rye field is ready. No, is it? No, it's the grass that's ready. I don't think we have anybody... Yeah, everybody's harvesting stuff at the moment. The raspberries. As soon as they finish with that, we'll go and uh, mow the grass up. No hurry on that, really. Is that all the raspberries done? I think it might be. They still seem to be doing stuff. Okay. I'll, I'll leave them just a second. But hopefully that means that there'll be somebody ready to mow the grass. Leanne with the Etos tractor. Cool. Let's have a look at the tractors and how they're doing. The Rego tractor 2 looks good. No repairs able to be done on it. Rego tractor 1 can have a little renovation. Etos tractor I think will need a renovation as well pretty soon. Okay, so I think all the raspberries are in. So 2,700. Gone right up in price. So 43,000. Yay. Just waiting for these coups to get ideas. So we, at the moment, have um, enough room in these pens for another further eight cows. We need to get another ten. No, nine, actually. I almost wonder whether I should just sell one more out of the... I'll just sell one more out of here and see if I can maybe breed three at a time. Might be lucky. I think the price just goes up and down kind of with the seasons and also with how much you sell. Uh, I haven't quite worked out exactly what causes changes in, in price, but I've noticed that like raspberries and strawberries seem to sell really well in the winter and things like that, so... Yeah, I'm very diversified because I'm playing the campaign and the campaign is basically telling me what to make and what to do. So it, it's basically telling me make certain amounts of fields and do this and do that. About the only thing that I've done that it hasn't really told me to do is of, is I made a bit more grass down here. I, I It told me to make these fields, but then it told me to plant crops in them, uh, like uh, cereal crops. And I've decided to plant grass there this year instead because that was last year's task. Um, so I'm using the same fields, but because it's told me to make three massive giant cow sheds, well, those are actually medium ones, so I don't even know what the large ones are going to be like. But because it told me to make those, I needed a bit more grass, so I was like, oh, okay, we'll just make some grass fields over here. But it's going to probably be a little bit, um, everything's a bit small in this little immediate area. These fields will probably end up going, I think, in favour of buildings. 
So this central area will probably be a lot of buildings, a lot of greenhouses, that sort of thing. And then I'll probably start putting most of my fields and orchards on new plots of land that we're about to buy now. Oh, good. Ready for breeding. Perfect. Getting there. So I'm fairly happy to buy the new land because I kind of think... If I need more, hopefully it won't be too much more for the second piece of land. Fingers crossed. I mean, it's only 40,000 for the first. Oh, more animals ready for breeding. Yes. This is, get this is good. This is good. We might have enough soon. We're just waiting on cow shed one for a breed. And then I think we'll be, uh, we'll be there. Oh, no. We need cow shed two to do it as well. 